It's been a while since my recording fucked up, but today was the day that it did. And the day was when I did the rally draw for this, which was today. So we're gonna go through the relics again, and I'll do a 5 mithril draw, why not? Just because of you guys, and yeah, I love you guys, and I hope you love me too, I really do. <laughs> okay, so let's go through the relics once again. So the first one is Riku's Buster Claw, which of course is the claw. You didn't know that, did you? <laughs> Anyway, the multiplier is 3.5. <coughs> One physical attack, all ele enemies. It's non elemental, of course. And there is a chance to sap, so it's kind of like a worse NF from Bart's. Bart's one looks really cool. I recommend going for the Final Fantasy V one if you haven't. I'm actually really, really tempted to do a 50 draw there. I don't know, maybe. Then next we have Auron's new katana, which is, I believe, the highest attack katana out at the moment besides Sephiroth's Super Soul Break. I believe it's the same attack. I could be wrong though, maybe Sephiroth's is a little bit over. Uh, so this is a Shira Nui. Shira Nui. Shira Nui. It sounds better when I say it out fast. It sounds less retarded, maybe. Maybe it sounds more retarded. Deal three successive physical attacks on one target with a moderate chance to paralyze it. This one's probably the best one. Add a list. Multiplier is 5.1 with a chance to paralyze, of course. So yeah, it's a pretty good one, um, and uh, the animation's like really, really cool. All round, it makes a return, 119 attack. This one actually can be used with Riku as well, because it's a blitz ball. Deal 5 physical attacks around targets, lowering their magic. I still don't know if that's a magic break. I think it's a magic break because um, the logo says, like, the logo is a magic break with a blitz ball in the middle. Deal magic holy damage to all targets unique to Yuna. So, we've seen this so many times, the magic, the mind, I mean, is quite high, 130. Magic 118, so yeah, it's a pretty good rod in terms of stats, but the soul break is a little bit lacking. The shared soul breaks are actually pretty good here, except for the last one, Grand Protector Allies, so this is a bracer, so the stats are actually really well rounded. And we have the major Staff, which is an AoE heal, hard to come by, except for Eunice Ball, by a rod, I believe. Attack 60, which is quite high for a rod. Magic 105, mind 124. So yeah, pretty good. This one's a piece of shit though. Thief Blade, which is a tempo flurry. Yeah, it's a fucking shit one. I hate it. Go away. Then we have the two generic ones. Albert Jumper looks pretty cool. So let's use 5 Mithril. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you what I got from the 100 Gem Joy. I got a 3 star. So yeah. I'm expecting that here as well. Yep. But I did it for you guys. That's that's what really matters. I did it for you guys. I, I did the three star for you guys. <laughs> oh, we got a rune blade, but the wrong one. I wanted the good one. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope to see you around later. I just finished the Unalaska battle, which you'll see very, very shortly. Hope you have a good one, guys. Love you so much. Love you a long time. <laughs>